So, coming to the next module, one important topic that you have to study is a modern lifestyle diseases and uh, lifestyle and hypokinetic diseases. We have to first understand the meaning of these two words. What is lifestyle, modern lifestyle? What is the uh, difference of modern lifestyle from the traditional lifestyle? In the traditional lifestyle, man is mainly living by either cultivating or agriculture activity was the primary source of um, uh, occupation, primary occupation. Or those who are living in coastal areas may be going for fishing. So both fishing and agriculture are, are uh, a hard physical activity. So that was the type of occupation the ancient people were mostly resorted to. But today that is not the case. The last large number of people are not going, not, not doing much physical activity or involving any kind of physical labor. We are actually working with our brain or because by the involvement of our mind. And most of our work are sedentary. Sedentary means um, sitting in a place and working. You take the most of the IT jobs, most of the online jobs. So most of the uh, jobs which are done in banking, office sector, etc. These are all what we call our, our called uh, sedentary jobs, jobs which are done in a sitting and in a by sitting in a place. And because of this change in lifestyle, our physical activity has greatly reduced. And and this has led to a problem of. Uh, uh, a problem um, that uh, in which our, our our body is not involved in much physical activity and that will be creating a lot of stress physical stress on our body at a later stage and after a certain uh, certain age uh, different types of uh, diseases and disorders slowly come up now here you can see that lifestyle diseases are the result of the way we lead our lives i told you that uh, the, 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 the actually man has been designed as a person, as an animal. So going to the lifestyle, the problem of the lifestyle disease is that I told, I was uh, telling you about that man was originally designed to as an animal who has to walk, run and do hard work. For example, what is the type of activity our ancient uh, uh, people were doing? They were hunting and gathering. Hunting means for hunting animals, we have to run a lot behind the animals. And for gathering the fruits or other type of vegetables, still we have to walk and we have to climb the trees. All these, so all these require a lot of physical labor. So that is the way the, our, our original body has been designed. Now we have changed from that, that mode of life to completely a different type of life. But our body is still remaining in the uh, in the original uh, original uh, uh, stage or etc. So uh, the pro and then that is the reason why this kind of diseases gradually develop in human beings after a certain age. Especially when we get older, this type of diseases will gradually come. And these diseases are also known as a diseases of longevity or diseases of civilization. Longevity means. As I told you, this disease will gradually appear only after around, around the age of 40. Now, most of the time, and after the come after the age of 40, this kind of disease is uh, that is as we age more, as we, as our age increases, this the incidence of this type of diseases will gradually increase, like blood pressure, cholesterol, heart disease, all that they will all appear after a certain age. Now, most of the time, after the completion of 40. Then they are also known as diseases of civilization. Why it is known as a diseases of civilization? Because uh, these diseases are more common in more developed countries. More the development of a country, less the physical activity the people of that country will be uh, doing. So that is why better the better the uh, de uh, development or better the in improvement in civilization. The higher the incidence of lifestyle diseases. Then another problem is that here you can see the third point. The lifestyle diseases are the result of an ill relationship. Ill relationship of the people with their environment. Because I, I, I told you earlier that 
man is an animal which has to walk, run and do lot of physical activity. So when we change away from this kind of this mode of life, gradually our body will be responding to that changed lifestyle. So that is the reason why lifestyle diseases are gradually appearing in after a, a certain age. So there is a, because our our body is actually designed to walk, run and do a lot of physical activity. So when we are not doing this kind of physical activity, our body will be responding. That, that lack of exercise will be affecting our body uh, severely and that is, the, that is the cause of most of the lifestyle diseases. So, so if, you, if you people are engaging a lot of exercise, lot of other physical activity, then most of these diseases will stay away from you. So, it is a kind of uh, a wrong relationship, ill relationship of the people with their environment. Now, today we cannot say that, uh, can't take so many of them. Uh, the World Health Organization has warned that 270 million people, 270 mean 2.7 crores of million crores of people are susceptible to falling, victim to diseases linked linked to unhealthy lifestyle, and most of these people are thought to come from China, India, Pakistan, and Indonesia, and because earlier uh, these countries were in a developing stage, and more there is a large uh, a large uh, higher level of poverty in our country but now in India China Pakistan Indonesia these are all highly developing fast and uh, the percentage of middle class is also increased and middle class is um, and can uh, now afford a lot of, of um, food items which traditionally the middle class of India won't be able to uh, afford so because of that uh, our um, our physical activity also gradually uh, decreased and we are also taking increase in amount of sweets and other kind of uh, cholesterol rich or fat rich food items. So this all in, uh, lead to an increased incidence of lifestyle diseases especially in countries like India. Then and uh, these are also, also some statistics in little over a decade from now the chronic diseases like diabetes you know uh, you know what in the case of diabetes in every household of Kerala or in every household of India we can see that there will be at least one person who is diabetic so sometimes we can call India is the diabetic capital of the world then hypertension hypertension is also blood pressure increased blood pressure then the incidence of cancer cancer most of the cancer are also caused by our, our type of lifestyle for example, uh, once one doctor came for, for a seminar in our college and he, was a, he came from New Zealand, he told that in Kerala certain types of cancer are high. The reason he said that because of how we are taking a lot of these uh, food particles that were food, especially uh, the, the packet food. Because most of the um, uh, food are actually produced outside Kerala and during this process they are not following the proper uh, methods and that also result in increased presence of carcinogenic chemicals in the food items that we are taking. That may be the probable reason for increased incidence of uh, uh, stomach related cancer in, in, in Kerala. And he was telling that in foreign countries and such stomach related cancer are quite few, quite fewer. So that is uh, uh, that is one problem with uh, Kerala as that is when we are also taking increased amount of spicy food and the spicy food can also lead to a lot of stomach related cancer. So that is and some other problem. Then uh, you can see AIDS. AIDS, so AIDS uh, is not affecting India seriously as it thought to be but in certain African countries it is still a problem. And that would be accounting for 65% of death in India. That is, uh, the pro prediction is that 65% of the death in India uh, would be because of this for, for this kind of diseases like diabetes, hypertension, cancer, or AIDS. And and that it was 53% in 2005. That is, this uh, this is an old statistics, but uh, now it has we have we have reached 2021. Maybe the percentage may be increased from 65 to 70 percentage. But by 2020, the chronic diseases are expected to claim 7.63 million lives in India. 
compared with the 3.78 million in 99 that is as we are progressing the incidence of this kind of diseases chronic lifestyle diseases are increasing and more people are dying from lifestyle diseases than it used to be then india that is already home to largest number of diabetes patients is projected to have 30 million 30 million means 3 crores of people in india will be diabetic but we don't without much much uh, medical sub, uh, sub statistics support we can believe that in every household of kerala there is at least one diabetic patient so more than 3 crore people uh, more that 3 crore may be a lower limit lower number the number will be more than that that is 10 percent of the people in in india may be diabetic a recent study estimated that nearly 11% of urban population and 3% of the rural population above the age of 15 have diabetic. So this statistics we have to, because in the ISO rural population the testing may be lower. So that is why the data from the lower uh, rural population is showing a reduced uh, rate. But actually rate may be more than 5% or 6%. But rural population are engaged in more physical activity. So that the, uh, the percentage of diabetic uh, in rural population may be always lower than the percentage of diabetic patient in urban population. But this 3% may, may be a wrong, uh, wrong data because of under reporting. So these are some of the uh, problem that we are seeing in this of diabetic. Here we have a list of uh, different types of uh, diabetic diseases and we will take those diseases one by one. There is Alzheimer's disease is the arteriosclerosis is the asthma is the uh, then cancer is the cirrhosis a lung uh, lung disease is the then another lung disease is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and the diabetes is also important disease and Crohn's disease Crohn's disease is also a type of a disease affecting our stomach osteoporosis is the affecting our bone then mental depression then stroke stroke is basically the the rupture of our blood blood cell in brain and chronic renal kidney failure chronic renal failure so all these are uh, primarily or in the, uh, uh, related with the uh, different type of uh, lifestyle diseases now here we will take one more the important reason for lifestyle diseases is that it's a sedentary lifestyle there is a reduction in our physical activity and we are not engaged in it. i think if you just uh, you just make a um, uh, checking of the how many number or how many persons in your neighborhood are engaged in any kind of exercise you can see the less than five percent of the people in kerala are doing any kind of exercise so exercise is quite uh, high so the rate of exercise in kerala is quite low so that is also an important reason for increase the incidence of lifestyle disease and this disease are widespread as country become in that is as we progress more as we develop more we will have more money more money means we, we, we will work less we will be more in, in, engaged in mental mental type of mental work rather than any kind of physical work then we can afford high nutritional food if we don't have money we won't be we won't be purchasing high uh, rich food a uh, rich uh, fatty whether uh, rich food which are more rich in fat or sweet or uh, such food we won't be uh, for our consuming so when we are taking food which are rich in and uh, fat and other other kind of uh, color color rich food that will be increasing the uh, cholesterol in our body and that will be leading to uh, uh, occurrence of this lifestyle disease then in addition to that there will be also substance ab abuse tobacco smoking and alcohol smoking and both are both are important sources of lifestyle diseases so if the because uh, many people in, in in kerala are now in uh, especially youth the people of your age are involved in tobacco smoking even girls are also in in, in, in tobacco smoking even even though it, it won't be publicly knowing but still we have enough data to show that large number of girls in urban areas especially in kerala are also engaged in ty different types of smoking so uh, this uh, and this uh, will be always affecting the life of the people at a later stage so these are some of the important reasons for lifestyle diseases and the remaining and what we have to see is that we have to take the uh, different types of lifestyle diseases which we will be discussing in our next class so today we are stopping here